Hello everybody, it's the Food Factory. There is so much for us to do and to see. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Burying My Backlog. We are continuing on with Beyond Two Souls. Um, potentially finishing it today? I don't know. Um, do I have plastic on my webcam? What the f- okay, well it's not in the front, I'll deal with that later. I just noticed it now. I actually have um, a floodlight on so that my light isn't so finicky. And hopefully we're not gonna get a bunch of echo this time. I think having my microphone over here-ish is better, although it keeps making me want to look over there. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's just fucking get into it. It looks like we're gonna be child Jody. Hauntings. Hauntings. There we go. I should have acquired a beverage before beginning this. <clears throat> that was foolish. Um, <clears throat> Lord, I dyed my hair blue. You can't tell. Um, I think my hair was too dark uh, for the blue to show up at all. I actually have a single like white hair here, and it's like bright blue, but it's one hair. <laughs> Otherwise, it mostly is just dark, which is perfectly fine. Um, initially I just did the front pieces like here um, but it was so dark you couldn't tell so I'm like well I have blonde roots down to here so I should probably just use up the pot and just do it all so my hair at least is kind of dark there's it's a little it's a little bit patchy but considering that um, I've never actually dyed my my own hair before um, I think it turned out decent I'm covered in blue hair dye um, You'll probably be able to see it. I've got blue on my neck, my ears, kind of on my face, my scalp is like stained. Uh, I'm not too concerned though, that's kind of just how it is. I've had blue hair before, um, except I bleached my hair so I could have like a nice dark blue. And it lasted for like four days and then it went lime green and it was awesome. <laughs> um, but I know the, the struggles of, you know, dyeing your hair interesting colors. I'll never get my Spyro shirt back. Psych, it's my pajama shirt. I'll wear it even if it's stained with dye. I've ruined at least two pillows. Um, my shower is blue. Anyway, I'm talking a lot about this just so you guys, if you see blue on me, it's not bruising. I don't know how it would look on here, but it's just because I, I, I basically, I swapped it on with my hands. I didn't do it like a normal person um, because quite frankly, I've never done it before. Uh, I'm just following this bitch. I haven't even been commenting on this. I've just been like walking. Who is this? Am I supposed to know who you are? I love how there are keypads on all the doors that don't function. High quality. Man, I love being Kid Jody. So fucking cute. Okay, again, there are keypads on all the doors and literally nothing is locked. Don't I? Am I, aren't I supposed to have like a guard? Oh, that's his wife. That's right. Hi. Speaking of Willem Dafoe, I just watched The Lighthouse like two weeks ago on a watch party on my stream. And Willem Dafoe's in it, which is why it reminded me. And it was so fucking good. And it's kind of weird seeing like a young Willem Dafoe. Because he was like an old crotchety lighthouse man. I'm gonna learn your secrets without your consent. Thanks, Aiden. Man, I, I have I mentioned before that I don't like doing that. Not the secret thing, the trying to figure. Oh, that was his kid, right? The voices, the voice coming through the, the medium never really made sense to me, but it makes it a lot creepier. 
it makes sense in The Exorcist with Regan because it sounds very croaky and stuff, so you could believe that something was like struggling to use her vocal cords. But in most things, I don't think it really makes sense if the voice is of like 100% the other person. All right, bye. <laughs> Do you guys see bare leg? By the way, I am wearing shorts because it's hot and I've got a lot of lights on in an attempt because you guys have probably been able to tell. Um, I have like, it, it's a, a dimmer, a dimmer switch, I think it's called when you do the thing and the light you know dims i guess it's a dimmer switch then and it flickers constantly but only a little bit not enough for you to really notice if you're just vibing in the living room but it can get picked up otherwise um i think it's because we don't have an actual dimmer bulb which i didn't know existed until we asked our landlord about it um because we weren't sure no my internet, I'm with Rogers, and it's been having outages all day, and only now does it affect me. I'm not, I shouldn't complain, because I was playing Final Fantasy this morning, before work, and, um, yeah, I just, I shouldn't complain, because it didn't drop then, and usually it drops in the middle of a dungeon, just for like five seconds, just long enough to be annoying, but not long enough to get me booted. <sighs> We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. There is yeah, the same, Jody. Goodbye. For our nation. We've discovered a new place that already has things living in it, and we're gonna colonize the shit out of it. What's your name again? I, I know I, I was calling him Colin because he looks like a character from 90210, but I think it's it's Nick or Ryan. I think it's Ryan. I don't want to talk to you. Getting you down. That might be a little. I did what they wanted me to do. It's not my business anymore. We played our part in all of this. Why are you here? I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I mean, he knew what was going on. He's the one who lied to you. What are you gonna do now? Maybe I'll go back to the people I like. Yeah, not you. And the people who like me for who I truly am. I haven't met too many along the way. We have our ex-homeless friends. Well, how about you? We're gonna go help raise the baby. I don't remember any of their names. Yeah, you look like a golf guy. Leave me alone. Yeah, you only manipulated the absolute shit out of me, caused me to kill an innocent person and disrupt, you know, a country. It's fine. No. Although you are much better looking with your um your eyelash or your eyelash, your eye patch. No. You lied to me. Yeah, you're an asshole. Bye beach. Get some more facial scars and then we'll talk. Grow your hair and get some more scars and then we'll talk. You're too baby faced and weird looking right now. Also you're a dick. It's mostly the you're a giant asshole thing. Remember, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, unless I need to manipulate you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, take it to his office. Later, Ryan. Yeah, bye, Ryan. You know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No. I, I don't think are I they going to share a milkshake? Oh, milkshake, right. Malt, I think, is alcohol, isn't it? I, d I don't drink. Can you tell? <laughs> All right, bye, Ryan. Hope I don't see your stupid face again. Lying manipulative douche nozzle. Some decisions are hard to make, Richard. 
That was very easy to make. He's a dick bagel. My heart always says to beat. Violence is always the answer. Jody, I liked your other pant. Oh my god. Hang on. My cat, oh, for God's sake. My cat likes to go to the bathroom and he'll keep doing this. He just, he, he scratches at the wall and it's very annoying. It's, uh, it's pretty cute, but it's also not the best I'm trying to record. And I swear he knows when I'm recording and he always does it. Atlas, can you stop? Okay. I think he's walking away from the, the wall. We're good. I don't know why he doesn't bury his poop like a regular cat, but like he knows he's supposed to do something with his paws. So he just like rubs his paws against the wall, like not scratching, but like his claws are just out a little bit. And yeah, sorry you guys had to hear that a bit. This is a let's play, so there's no editing stuff, but All right, here we are. Call me when you're done, I can pick you up. not like I'd know how to do it anyway. Um, but yeah, my cat, he's a exotic short hair Persian and he's very cute and fluffy Whatever Nathan says. but he likes scratching the wall after he poops I don't know why can Nathan just like adopt me can that just be a thing can we kill Ryan yeah, the graphics for this are so nice I know I think I bring this up in every single video I just, I kind of can't get over how nice they are, knowing that this was a PS3 game, and just like, either they remastered it and did an amazing job, or the graphics were always just like astonishingly fucking good. I kept my part of the bargain. Let me leave. Now it's the CIA's turn. Let me live my life. Maybe I'll go be a ranch hand again. CIA is concerned. You no longer exist. Oh shit! They actually kept their part of the bargain. I can honestly say I was not expecting that. What's my new name? Is it is it better than Jody? No, no offense to any Jodies. I just. And now Elizabeth North. Oh, that's a much no better name. Yay! I cannot believe they kept their part of the bargain. Nice. Half a million dollars. I feel like she earns, er, she deserved more than that for everything that she did and what they put her through. I'm gonna accept that. I don't even know why they would ask if I want to refuse. You go. Like, can I hang out with you still, though? Like, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. <sighs> when my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident, you mean died? <laughs> they didn't disappear. They they died. I cried a lot. Hanging my head against the wall, trying to figure out. A wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized that you're still here all the time. Near me. I just couldn't see. I mean, are they still? gave me everything I needed to study the infra world. They were interested in military. 
military applications. I was interested uh, in stuff my family together. It's taken me some years. But I finally succeeded in creating this. That's fucking scary. Um Hello, my darlings. They kind of look like they're screaming. Oh, I miss you so much. This isn't healthy. I can just see them every day. So we'll be together. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infrared. you to help me talk to them. Voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. I'll help. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't, but I like Nathan, so... And I mean, as far as I'm concerned, oh, right, I was gonna, I was trying to go the other way. As far as I'm concerned, he kind of, you know, he's a good dude. I'm gonna help him out, even if it's not gonna be what he wants. Cause, uh oh. Yeah, because that's what my voice sounds like, Nathan. They're being torn apart between two. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Suffering, Nathan. If you love me, if you truly love them, you've got to let them go. You can't see death. See death. Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. I mean, I was right that they looked like they were screaming. Goodbye. Okay, like, can you let your family, like, go? I'm surprised in a way that it was actually them and not, like, an entity pretending to be them. How are you even keeping them here? Weren't they, like, always around you to begin with? How did you find them? Is it because you're making them appear that's the problem? I don't know. I don't I don't think that I'm supposed to be thinking too much about it. Okay. Jody, I like your shoes. Those are cool. Okay, let's let's get the fuck out of here and we came and buy a house with how much this is what this is what I mean. They should have given me more money. Because I came and buy a house with with the half a mil. They should have given me enough to literally have a new life. New house, new country. Um, I don't know. If I were her, I would not be want to be living in the States anymore. I'll tell you what. Oh, f what now? Oh my god. I should have known. Hi. Hey. Good to see you again. If only I had a ghost that could kill things for me. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. Why? We can't let you go. <sighs> we can't kill you either. Oh darn! What you do on the other side? So does anyone appropriate for you? We inject you with a neuro acid. We put you in a permanent coma. You died to the day with your mother. Okay, why are you telling me this? Uh, simple and 
delicate way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Why are you telling? Iden, <laughs> hello. Goodbye. Do I not have a ghost? We will always be grateful for your help. You got a really interesting way of showing it, bud. Iden, right then would have been such a fantastic time for you to, like, help instead of floating around or whatever you do. I I wish the Iden stuff was a bit more consistent because I know he's attached to me at all times. Did you know about this, Nathan? We'll have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. The world is gonna be really overpopulated if you do that. The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infoworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death. United in one world. That's not a good idea. I thought you were studying this. Don't you know there's other shit? I've been dead, Jody. You clearly haven't, sir. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. I always figured that Nicholas Cage would be responsible for destroying the world, not Willem Dafoe. I feel like I'm hanging from the ceiling. Am I hanging from the ceiling? Oh. Oh, now you show up, Aiden. Good to see ya. Thanks for fucking hanging out. Where have you been? Do you have a ghost girlfriend that I should be aware of? You're too weak, Aiden. Rude. Find something else. You're too weak. Do something else. Why didn't I get help out. to begin with? How am I supposed to get help? Hurry. I'm too weak to pull a needle out of you, but I can go up a f like a floor, which I usually can't do. What am I? I'm not controlling this. All right. Who's this good to you? Vincent and Nick. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh can I? You can help me. I trust you. Lucky bastards. Um. I mean, I don't know what these guys are even going to be able to do, but like... Yeah, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Help Jody. Cole here. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. Can I, can I type? This would be a lot easier if I could type. Um, can I slam a door? I don't have a door. Like, come on, guys. Pay attention. Do you not think this is strange, sirs? Does this just happen for you regularly? If my fucking screen did that, I would shit myself. Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Okay, Ryan, why are you being the smart one in this situation? Aiden. Yes. Is that you, Aiden? Yes. This joke's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? Help. What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? There we go. The screen really should have been your clue. Lead us to Jody, I guess. Okay, Show follow me. Way. Even though you can't see me. I'll knock shit over on the way, I guess. Um, okay. Oh, apparently that made sense to you guys. Okay. This uh, way. Oh, now I can move shit. Okay, I need you guys to go through this door. Over there. Okay. Through here, sirs. Let's go. Okay. 
again, you guys are- Ryan is probably fucking in on this, although it's gonna be like, Oh no, he didn't know, he's a good cinnamon roll, even though he's been lying and manipulating you this whole time, ooh. Fucking... You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Duh, that's why I opened it. Numpty. Do you have to come? Can it just be the other guy? With the sweet sweater? I don't want to deal with you. Alright, I guess I got it. Oh, what did I- okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh my god, somebody else is doing something in this game that's not Aiden? I say things and I'm proven wrong instantly. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past my I I know that. Everything is my job. You guys are all fucking useless considering I can't move things. Ah. <sighs> Yes, hi, hello, can you fuck yes, off? Too. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah, see, just kidding. He's done it. Yeah. It's fine now, lads. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, Mr. Lewis? Cole Freeman, Ryan Clayton? Why do you keep standing up? Yes. My apologies. Uh, go on through. Thank you. Why couldn't... Sorry, Ryan. Take us to Jody. Did you just say that out loud? You fucking idiot. You... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, well, if that guard had ears that functioned, wouldn't he be like... You know... What do you mean? Aiden and Jody? Good heavens. Okay, I don't actually know where she is. Um, I keep forgetting you guys can't see me. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh! Okay, well I probably shouldn't be breaking glass. Okay, come on guys. Let's pick up the- okay, you know what? Fuck this place though, I'm just gonna break shit. Uh, is that- is that the door? Oh, it is! Okay, that looked like it was a lot farther than it needed to be. Okay, go in here. I mean, if I could just possess you guys- I could possess you guys, or like, possess the guard. I could have killed the other guy. There's so many things that I could have done that he just chose not to. Did they duct tape me? Oh, no. Okay, don't touch me. Aren't I supposed to be in a coma? Oh, well. Oh no, the consequences of our actions! Yeah, I was- what? Some fucking coma that I was fully conscious for and I'm able to move. Did, okay, like, Nathan, did you not send me to a place that got, like, destroyed by entities? Did you not know that this was gonna happen? What is the logic here? I'm curious. Jesus. 
Okay, can we just wait until like everyone else is dead and then we can we can do something? Oh no, they're gonna kill us! Oh no! I don't fucking care. Good. Oh, do I? Him. Yeah, Ryan, you still suck, but thank you. Useless. All right, what am I doing? Okay, well, that was just to look at it. Right on. Very helpful. Um. Okay, what am I gonna? Why is everything up to me? This is a fucking government building, and no one- actually, that's pretty much to be expected. Alright, now take him back! <laughs> okay, but I, I kind of want to save Nathan. Can I- I, I, I kind of want to save him. Can I? Why- the camera is really shaky. I thought we just saw that those don't work. I mean, they clearly don't know what they're doing. Jody, can you take it? Jody? J Jody? Jody, no. That's right. It's our only chance. The military is useless. In this, at least. Right? So, you know, we can't just let fucking. Alright, well we know these shields don't work, so good luck, I guess. <sighs> Probably a lot of bad shit. Cool, Ryan, um, I have a job for you. I like how you told them that after the elevator was already going down. <laughs> You're right, you bitches are coming with me. Hello, I'm here to stop you. Oh, bro, do I have to sneak? Well, I mean, we're gonna die here anyway. Military kind of fucked up the entire world. I can do what I want, leave me alone. Thank you for your sacrifice. Couldn't these things- you don't- like, wouldn't these be able to like, feel me? Oh shit. I just- I, I walked into one by accident. Oh uh, no, Cole! Aw, oh, why couldn't it have been Ryan? Saving coal. I mean, we're all gonna die anyway. I guess I probably. Quick! They can't go through doors! They're ghosts! <sighs> I'm sorry, Princess. You're gonna have to go in without 
No, why couldn't Ryan have died <laughs> instead of you? Aw, oh, that's sad. I liked Cole. The Black Sun, Jody. Or nobody. He's right. Come on, Jody. Oh, you guys can't see that. Okay. Uh, you might have seen the little white end of the. Go away. Um, for some weird fucking reason, um, my controller will randomly be like, oh, your headset disconnected. Now we're using the camera. It's like. Uh, there's no headset. It's always just been the camera. I don't know. Oh! Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Hey! Hey! No, he hasn't. There was another thing I could have done. Why'd you stop? Oi! Oi! Oh my god. Uh, oh, maybe I did. Okay, well... Man, why do I, why do they keep sticking me with you? Ugh. You're the like honestly the last person I want guarding my back. You're a fucking liar and you're a manipulator and you want my pants and I don't like you. This. Yeah, seriously. Can I just throw you into the sun? Oh, that's frightening looking. It's okay, we have shields that we know don't work. It'll be fine. Ah, this is pretty cool looking. It's, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but like, the texture of this is really nice. Why are they lost? Is there an actual afterlife or is the infra world the afterlife? I know. Yeah, I can see, thanks. They're not doing anything except complaining, which is perfectly fine. continue on. Maybe he got distracted by a dead parent. And it's gonna be like, oh my god, don't you feel so bad for Ryan? He's an orphan. Like, okay, so am I. But I'm like a double orphan. In the game, not, not in real life. But yeah, I don't care about Ryan. Nathan? Why did you bring a gun? Because you locked them in a containment field. Uh, reason. Maybe it's because they don't recognize you anymore. Why did you burn a gun here? What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Let me pass, Nathan. The condenser must be destroyed. You know it's the only way. Where did your other part of the suit go? Please don't kill you. No! God damn it. Okay, but you didn't die with your suit on. Or your glasses. Hooray! He killed himself! What a happy fucking ending! That's great. That's good. This is really good. This is this is a healthy idea to have in a game. You're the only one who can 
If you kill yourself, you don't have to deal with your problems anymore. And you get to see your family again. Everything will be great. Healthy. Very healthy. Excellent. That's a message we want to send. Okay. Fantastic. So is this part like just the the afterlife part? Cuz there's no there's no entities that I'm seeing. There's just it's windy from for somehow. Oh, there we go. Speak and, you know, what is it? Speak of the devil and he shall appear. I, I, what even are these things? Because we have definite human souls, and then they disappear into gold light. And... Yeah, I'm doing fucking good at dodging, I usually don't do this well. Um, can you eat Ryan? Okay, there's only so much dodging that you can do, Jody. You're gonna have to do- like, you're gonna- I don't know what you can do, though. We'll go back to back. To present a bigger target. Hooray! Why would we be dead without the belts? Oh, good idea! Okay, good. Don't worry, they'll wait till we have our emotional conversation. Jody, take it. No! No! What is the point of making me have those choices if I don't get that final choice? Fuck you, game. I'm offended. So is he just gonna, like, hang out there? You could come with me for emotional support, I guess. I don't want you to, but... Black hole sun, won't you come- I've been wanting to say that this whole time, and I- I, re I resisted for a while. What are those now? Okay. Yeah, this this the shield is not very effective, is it, guys? I don't really even understand what it was doing. You'd think it'd be like a cloaking device or something, but no. Oh, I forgot about you. Uh, look at all the people that we've seen. in our quest that are somehow being brought up through our memories, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the good outfit. Okay, that was not a good scene. I'm glad she's wearing shorts underneath. This would be very uncomfortable otherwise. I don't know how girls can wear like the super mini skirts and just have nothing underneath. I wish I had that confidence. And that trust in the wind. <laughs> yeah, Nora. Is Aiden my brother? And that's why I'm attached with an umbilical cord? Aiden. Twin. My brother. 
God, babies are ugly. Holy fuck. Put some pants on, brother. I loved you. I hated you for years. You were a part of me. Oh shit, he gone. Why did he grow into an adult as a ghost if he was like a, not even a fetus? Or he was a fetus, but not even a baby? Well, I guess it would have been a baby at that point if, if he got strangled with the umbilical cord, because I think that usually... When does that happen? It sounded like it happened during the birth? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, nor am I an expert in baby death. Um, I, I, that that's interesting though. Like I think that's a good idea. Being in love. Love you, Jody. No. Love you. So What's the option that I don't have to deal with you? I don't want to deal with you. Can I choose death? to hang out with these people you forgot were in the game. <laughs> well, in the theme of choosing the fucked up shit, let's uh, embrace death. Bye, Ryan. I would have chosen life if it weren't for you. How did he not die? Wasn't the whole thing he's gonna get slaughtered? No, and I need him to stay alive so he doesn't fucking bother me in my death. We're gonna go hang it with Aiden. Maybe I can be his ghost in this world. I do think the ex explanation of Aiden being her twin that was like attached to her with that umbilical cord, I think that that's, that's a pretty clever idea. I didn't see that coming. Perhaps I should have, but I didn't. Okay, I don't care about you. Stop showing me this guy. <laughs> Man, I'm not even going to be able to see the statistics of who else chose to die. That makes me a little sad. Don't try and revive me, bro. Joey. Leave me alone. Joey, come here, wake up. I'm hanging out with my bro. Joey, wake up. Joey, wake up. Joey, wake up. Just don't touch me. I do not consent. I don't consent. Stop touching me. No, come back so I can lie to you more. Oh, I'm so sad that I can't see. I'm so sad, you guys. All right, so we refused or postponed Ryan's declaration. Fuck him. We did heal Cole. Ryan, sir. 
There was an option where he would die? Motherfucker. Ugh, oh, god damn it. Life is so unfair. Uh, took the money, convinced Dawkins, and they took his- I wonder if he would have lived. Uh, shut down the Black Sun. There's an option not to have done that. That's interesting. So I think we're approaching the end of the game, guys. I mean, I don't know how much more it can go. Or should I say beyond? <laughs> All right. That sounds exhausting. My soul explores it endlessly, and I've still only seen a fragment of it. I can be everywhere and nowhere. I can dissolve into nothing and become whole again. I can merge my soul with others and, and be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible. Merely by the force of my will. You know, if Ryan died, I would have chosen life. I don't care! I mean, who else is it gonna focus on, though? Everyone else is dead. Fair enough. So why did it hurt Nathan's family? Was it only because he was making them be visible in that condenser? Like he had them trapped there? I am curious about that. Because apparently I'm just kind of vibing. And that we live eternally as like a separate consciousness. Oh my god, Cole, you lived! Yay! I could have sworn that you died. I'm stoked. Pull at me. Can I be your Iden? Cole should be the star of the next game, because I'm pretty sure there was going to be a Beyond Two Souls sequel. I feel like I remember hearing about that and everyone was shitting themselves, but I don't know if that's actually true. Cole! Wouldn't you be offended? If you played this game and you recently had someone close to you die and it's like, oh, they obviously won't give a fuck about me because they didn't leave a message on my computer screen. Or is it because Jody is, like, magical? Maybe that's why. Because I think her mom had that ability and it passed on to Jody and Aiden. Maybe that's why she's able to... I don't know the word. Uh, exist... Uh, I don't, I don't know. The, I know there's a word for it, and I don't know it. Uh, well, I do know it. It's just on the tip of my tongue. Um, I just had it, and it went, it, it's gone again. Uh, to, to appear in the other world, I'll just say, and to be able to uh, affect it. <gasps> Is this the crew? Where's your baby? Oh, homeless crew. You guys were awesome. They were the best part of the game. Do you guys all hang out? That's so cute.
there's one thing I do know. It all really happens. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. He talks to me. He says dark things I need to know. Sometimes I shut my eyes and see if I can fly and go through walls. I see beautiful colors around me. And I discover fireworks she looks like Max from uh, Life is Strange. Like, if Max was done in, like, more realistic graphics and had a little bit longer hair. Especially at night when I'm alone with the shadow. That looks like a remarkably uncomfortable bed. Holy shit, your mattress is, like, this thick. Is this child abuse? Do you need somebody? This thick in the dark. The voice says it's my turn. And it'll all go away. But she won't tell me what these things are. What is that outfit? Like an echo. An echo of things to come. I must get ready. I know there's not much time. There's only one thing I can be sure of. I will never be alone again. Elliot Page. Thank God. I was so afraid I lost. There's no telling what we'll find. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct We're not coming back. Well, they certainly uh, hinted at a sequel, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> Damn. Do you think Aiden had like a, an emo phase too? Because like he apparently grew with with Jody. So I wonder if if Jody lives, if she befriends um if she befriends the, the, the daughter whose name I don't remember. Um and like Iden transfers to her or some oh. Or we work together, hooray I mean I guess we don't know if uh Jody is the one, I don't want to say haunting, but umbilical courting <laughs> daughter. Uh, okay, interesting. I like how it gave me a piece of a cinematic that I did not get. They obviously weren't expecting me to choose death. <laughs> mm. Alright, well, Julian Condom? That sucks. <laughs> I always like to read the last names. Condom as a last name. What what nationality is that? I'm very curious. Music produced by Hans Zimmer. Alright, that's pretty cool. I unfortunately haven't really been able to appreciate the music very much because when I am recording, um, I don't want to get an echo with, with this, um, so I have to keep it on relatively low. I could wear headphones, but then I wouldn't be able to... Um, I'm not good at moderating my voice volume, and I'd probably talk way too quiet if I can't hear myself. Um, so that was interesting. I think if there was a sequel, I would probably play it. Um, yeah, I, I would play it. Um... I don't know. I don't know how they would do it because you can get two very different endings. I mean, either she lives or she dies, and you know that that's kind of a a big, that's kind of a big change. Um, I would play it, but I feel like I would. It has like a Terminator vibe, which I appreciate because I like Terminator. Um, I am a human, and. I want I would want it to be more actiony, but I know that's not the kind of game that would make sense for a sequel. Um I don't think having I don't know, it, it could work. 
it could work. We do have games that are more story based that are like post apocalyptic or like during the apocalypse and stuff. So I could see it working. But I don't know. I don't want to have to do the same controls that I had to do in this game. It's not necessarily that they weren't intuitive, but they're not memorable. So you keep forgetting what you need to do. Um, I also wasn't really a fan of Aiden's actions because it's kind of random. Like throwing something or hitting something was usually like the down that made sense. But like sometimes you had to go out, sometimes you had to go in. So those was kind of eh. And... I don't know. A lot of the more action-y scenes I wasn't fond of playing. I think the, the idea of moving the analog stick um, to which direction the character on screen is going, I think that's a good idea. Um, I either would want more focus on that or I don't, maybe, I don't want to say better done because I don't feel like it was badly done in this, but I don't know. I don't know it's kind of hard to explain it doesn't happen very often maybe that's the issue is you're just you're kind of not expecting it when it does pop up maybe that's the problem of only playing it like an hour at a time um i'm complaining a lot but i, I did i did for the most part enjoy it i think it was a little much a little too much kept happening to this one person over and over i don't i tend to not like stories like that like i don't like the chosen one stories um i don't like where every event has to happen to the main character and um, the main character is the only person who's capable or competent in anything. I don't usually like those kinds of stories. Um, I think a lot of this was kind of saved by the other characters. Like, Willem Dafoe was really good in this. Uh, I really liked Cole. Um, I think the homeless chapter was way too much, but I also really enjoyed it. Um, they were good characters, like, they did a good job. Not, like, overdeveloping them, but making you- giving you enough that you cared about them without going overboard into exposition. Uh, the child Jody stuff was all very good. That was all very well done. Um, I think Jody as a kid is a very interesting character in terms of how she deals with things. Um, teenage Jody, I would have actually liked to see more of, because I would- I think her rebellious phase would have been really interesting to get a bit more into. I think we only had the one chapter where she was like the emo kid. Um, I think we, they could have had a lot of fun with with more of that. Um, oh, that's incredibly depressing. Jesus Christ. Okay, we have some... Uh, there's a lot of choices. Damn. Okay. I'm really upset that I don't have, that my, my internet isn't connected. I don't know what it is with my PlayStation. I don't know. I don't think I had this problem because I'm, this is the pro. This is the Kingdom Hearts pro. My usual PlayStation was the Final Fantasy 15 slim and I never had internet issues with it. And this one, I don't know. It just, I have to, it's not that it disconnects. It just, I have to go in and like refresh that it's connected to the internet. Anyway, you guys don't care. Um, I'm surprised that there were five different endings. I would assume, okay, so you wandered the info world by choosing your death, and then I would assume that's different if Ryan lives or dies. So that's probably two deaths and two different lives, right? So then we would need one more. I don't know. I wonder. There's a lot of different things you can do. I'm still pissed that she kissed him at the end. Maybe if I didn't Maybe if I chose not to do that in the apartment, but I was trying to be nice to her. Uh, what Jody is this? This looks like homeless Jody. Why would it put me here? Huh. Anyway. I don't know if this is a game I would play again. Um, again, I did enjoy it. It's a little much, but I still enjoyed it. The writing is pretty- like, the dialogue- um, the writing of the dialogue is is pretty good. It feels realistic in terms of the conversations they have. Not so much with the military and like the guy in the submarine stuff. The the overt villains are, are again a little bit much. Um but that's okay. I just I'm not interested enough in the different choices that I could have made to see what would happen. Um but that's both a good and a bad thing. I think 
if you want to go back and see the choices you've written a very you've written a complicated story that people are really invested in and they want to see everything that story has to offer but at the same time this was tightly written enough with my choices that i don't feel like i'm missing anything by not choosing the different paths so it's good it's good but in a different way um i'm usually one of those people that i'm i'm a big platinum person i like getting my trophies i like 100% completing games i might i might come back to this maybe if there is a sequel i could have sworn that they announced a sequel and then i never heard anything about it ever again i don't know maybe i'm insane um i just i don't know if they release a sequel or they announce it and we get like a release date maybe i'll come back and do the opposite of what i chose because you can pick chapters um to make your life mildly easier but i don't think you can skip cutscenes or dialogue and it's obviously a very dialogue heavy game that's not a complaint that's the kind of game it is it's it is what it is um yeah i don't i don't know i I f I'm feeling a lot of different things about this. This makes me want to play Life is Strange. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should probably- I'm, I'm kind of- I feel like I'm blathering. I feel like I've said everything I kind of needed to say or wanted to say about the game. Um, so overall, quick summary, I did enjoy it. Not enough that I would want to play it again, not enough to fully explore all the choices, but I do feel fulfilled with the story that was told. It was told well, and it was told in a way that it's succinct and all the ends are tied up, so that's good. Um, I mean, I, I want to say it, le it left itself open for a sequel, but more like it directly said there's going to be a sequel. <laughs> all it needed was the Beyond Two Souls logo. Beyond Three Souls. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to do a number rating because number ratings are difficult because I will consider a game like, I will rate a game like Control very differently than I would rate a game like Emily is Away. You know what I mean? They're completely different. One is supposed to be shorter. It's like an indie game. Um, it's story based. It's like a typing simulator. The other one is, you know, super huge and it has a lot more with it. So it's not really fair to use numbers in that sense. It's just kind of going to be whether I really liked it or not. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. And I will say again, um, graphics top tier top tier i'm i want to look up what it looked like on the ps3 and see how much of this was a remaster and if not how much they were able to push the ps3 um but yeah that's it for beyond two souls i don't want to keep going because i have been blathering um but yeah i hope that you enjoyed the playthrough um i hope the audio is okay on this one I know I'm struggling a little bit with it. Um, as you can tell, I'm not used to doing stuff like this. I usually stream, and for whatever reason, the echo is not a problem on my stream. I don't know. Um, yeah, if you want to watch me stream live stuff, uh, Lyrium Dragon, same username as my channel. Um, I usually do horror games on my stream, and then we also do watch parties on Sunday if you are a member of Amazon Prime, so we just watch a movie and chat. Um, yeah, so our next game is going to be Dreamfall Chapters, which I uh, I think it's the third in a series. I only I've only played Dreamfall Journey Journeys, one of those. I've only played one of them, so uh, it might change. I might not end up playing it. Um, it just it might not end up happening. Um, I. If you see Dreamfall Journeys pop or Dreamfall Chapters pop up, great, I did it. If not, I chose not to because I would be lost on the story. I'm gonna see. I think um, the only other Dreamfall games are available on Xbox or PC. I feel like Dreamfall Journey or the Journey or whatever. I feel like that was an Xbox exclusive. Um, I do own an Xbox, but I literally only play it, have it for Morrowind and Jet Grind Radio. I don't have any other games for it. Um, yeah, okay, so if it's not going to be Dreamfall Chapters, it will be something else. Um, for the burying my backlog stuff right now, it's mostly going through my digital backlog. 
eventually I'll probably throw in some of my physical games. So this stuff is going to be kind of random genres to begin with. Most of my physical stuff is RPGs and horror. Um, and then my digital stuff is whatever was free on PSN or like dirt cheap on sale. So, all right, I'm going to end it because I've said it like six times. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Um, like, follow, subscribe, do all that stuff. I don't know. I don't fucking do YouTube shit. Uh, aside from literally this YouTube video. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you have a fantastic, super awesome day. And I hope that you are looking forward to the next Bearing My Backlog. Have a fantastic day. Ciao, ciao.